Yo, what's up guys? It's your boys from Flatline here. You got Dawson on the ground, Kyle there, and then Ty trying to kill himself on the skateboard again. And today, I got some angel eyes for the E46 girl right here. Don't touch me there, that's illegal. And today I'm going to be installing these, giving you guys a somewhat tutorial on how to install them, even though there's millions of tutorials. But I couldn't find tutorials for the non HID Xeon lights for the E46. So this will help you lower class BMW boys with your angel eyes. I got them from IJDM Toy Lighting. They're a JDM company, but they make E46 halos, which doesn't make sense. And everything you need comes in the package. It comes with all the wiring you need, all your like your fuse and everything. And this white wire right here is optional for if you want to run it to the the passenger footwell light. So when you unlock your car, it has like a really nice fade in effect when the footwell light turns on. And these are your uh, wire taps. You just basically put your wires in there and you close this top and you squeeze it and it connects them through there. Those are nice, I like using those. These are the clips for the, the light to be held into the housing. Move that stuff out of the way. These are your lights, these are the bigger ones. These are the smaller ones. And it comes with some double-sided tape, which I'm probably not gonna use because I doubt it's gonna hold it. But I'll put it anyways. But, get you right to the installation. Alrighty guys. So we're about to work on the passenger side. I did the driver side just to make sure everything went on nicely and it has pretty much gone on effortlessly besides a little issue of trying to get the side marker off but I kind of figured out the issue. So I'm gonna grab my trusty flathead to get started. So first off, you wanna take your flathead, you wanna stick it in this hole until you feel the, um, so down in this hole, there is a spring-loaded clip that you want to feel for. It's like right in the middle, and you'll feel it. So what you do is you push it down, and you push forward like this. You want to do it like probably like one or two times just to get it like fully out of there, like that. Hold that, and then you take the light. Don't pull it all the way out because you have to unhook the inside by pushing down at the top of the clip until you hear the click and then pushing down. And it's out now. Here you go, personal assistant tie. And then the next step, what you want to do is mine are kind of fucked, but you want to take out this literally just by pulling on it. Mine are just crumbling apart because this car is 20 years old. But these are my saw paints to my stronger hand. You just gotta pull it where the first one will pop off. I just keep breaking it. This thing is so vintage. And then there's one more over here. That's all the mount, and then the next step, what you want to do is you want to take out the under trim for the light. That's literally just the same way. Here, I'm gonna give the camera a tie. Let me see the flathead. The way I did it for the driver's side is on the inside here, there's a little tab, and I oh, kind of just forcing it out from here first. <laughs> That's broken, that's why. <laughs> and then... You just gotta like, kinda force it out. That's done. Alright, so now, the next step is take a flathead, pop these up. BMW thought about this very well and made it so you could literally undo your headlight with only clips. And then there's three on the bottom. Got it 
kind of like pry this one a little bit. Kind of pry this one a little bit. Like that, and then basically all you gotta do is just kind of pull on it. You gotta unclip it a couple of times. It's gonna grab. See, they're all clipping back together. But you just gotta pull on it and kind of work your way. Work your way around. It's not hard, but definitely is annoying. The way I did the other one was I did the tops first. So, there we go. Oh, don't know what that's for, don't care. Then get the bottoms. And then we got the last corner right here. It's kind of annoying because of the weather stripping. Can't really get it out that easy. Here you go, personal assistant Dawson. And then this, you want to make sure you just stick that back in. Because this will cause leaking if it's not in. So you just got to make sure that's in there. And then this, you got to take out the black housing, which is there leaves this pressure fit in there. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put that. And now, you're ready to put the angel eyes in. So, you take one of your angel eyes, take your clips, take two for each one. The bigger one goes on the outside, and the smaller one goes on the inside. And the way you put the clips is you want the barbs facing upwards, so it grabs onto this lip right here. And you slide it in, top down, and then you bend it upwards like that, and it's kind of stuck now. You do it with the other one. Face down, oh, fuck. face down, bent up, and then what you want to do with the wire is inside of here, there is where the high beam is, there's a little rubber boot that you want to route the wire to. So, pretty sure this is the one for this one, yes it is. Maybe just a straight shot back for the headlight one. And then you come up here. I need the light. Just so you guys can actually somewhat see. You open up this little ground with your tip of your fingernail. It's just pressure fit on there. This one doesn't want to cooperate. They're a little Pinch and pull. There we go. And then you should be able to see it in there once you open it enough. Gotta fish the wire in there better. So we got the big old bright light. So now we can actually see what we're doing. You slide it through the top and then you gotta get it into here. For some reason, I can't seem to get it to go as smoothly as I did on the other side. So I'm gonna get down here. I'm gonna grab the handle light. Hold this for me, does. I gotta somehow snake it in the same way. It went in so effortlessly on the other side. Okay, there we go. So now, when I pull this down, I should be able to feel it. Cooperate on this side for some reason. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna pull out the whole mechanism. 
take if, if you have this issue to take out the headlights if you don't know there's two little tabs you twist it and it pops out fully just like that very straightforward and easy I'm gonna remove my light just so I don't fucking have an issue I'm gonna set it down on a cloth Try not to touch the glass. So now, I could take out this full rubber boot a little bit more than what it was before. Cause I don't have to worry about the light being in the way. I'm gonna go back under and try to snake it through. Cause this side, I don't know what it is, but it's, not cooperating as well. Okay, that should be the spot. Keep pressure on it. I see it. I found it. It's right here. So now, just pull the wire through. Be careful with the PCB. That's um the wire. And then you come on here, and then you just kind of pop it on one side, pop it on the other, and then you just slide it on all the way. This side fits a lot better than the other one. Okay, so now that you got it on, I'm gonna go back over here, because I left my little double-sided sticky tape boys over here. And this is optional. I've seen people not use them. It's just honestly for me to not hear a rattle every time I hit a bump. Because once I put the plastic shroud back on, they shouldn't come out. So now you just grab one, rip off one side. Probably gonna stick one on this side. Kind of mirror how I did it on the other side. Can't really see because there's a camera on my face now. <laughs> Pick it out ever so gently, and then you just push and stick. And then for the smaller angel eye, it's pretty much the exact same thing. You grab your smaller angel eye for the, the high beam, and then where did my little bag of clips go? Sorry about that, we had a little mishap where the bag of clips fell underneath my engine, but good thing ties dad had a bunch of tools and we had one of those little extendo arm grabby boys so now I'm just popping on the, the clips push it down all the way to the back then twist it up and then for this one you want to make sure you stick uh, where did the little thing go where did the light go give me it oh and now you take the light. What the hell is this? Take the light. Just blinded myself by shining it in there. You stick it through. Same hole. That one went in way more effortlessly. I'm gonna put it up here for now. Make sure it doesn't fall. And open up the grommet. Oh, this one didn't go in. All the way up. Go back down here. Get it back. Get it back. It's not cooperating. It got caught. Okay, there we go. And then you slide it through. It's almost there. No, don't turn. It's right there. Feel it with my finger. Boom. Got it through. Now you come back down here. Simple as that. Take it, slide on the clips, slide it all the way to the back and kind of align it properly. And I'm gonna put one of the double-sided sticky tapes on the top corners of it. Where did those go? Other here in front of me. I hate when I become blind when I'm working on things. 
peel off one of the sides. Boom. Stick it on the top corner. Oh, sugar. Stick it on one of the corners. Make sure it's on there. Take your nail. And then kind of peel it off. Then boom, stick it on there. Helps it from sliding around and making rattly noises. Would definitely use better 3M tape because this stuff is basically barely sticky. Honestly, I'm happy with that. And then just come over here, pull the rest of your wire through, make it somewhat nice and tight and as neat as you can make it. And then just kind of hang these off over to the edge. I'm gonna grab my, my low beam. Put it back in. Take the low beam. Slide it into its holes. For this, you have a little opening. It goes like this. Can't do it any other way. Slide it right in. And then what you want to do is just pop your little rubber grommet back up a little bit. Send this down like this. Put in the hole. Try to make it go in. You get it flush. And then twist your your housing. Forgot which way it goes. There we go. The click means it's in. So now I'm gonna route these like really nice and neat once I get to the wiring portion. Now I'm gonna show you how to get everything back together. So now you take this again and it's nice because this just slides right on top, covers all your wires, makes your not so good wire job look like the best wire job ever done. You just Light it in there until you feel it click a little bit in all corners. Make sure it clicks or else your glass won't go on. That looks nice. And as I said before, no matter what, it's not going to slide out because it is being blocked by the inner plastic piece. Make sure you got no smudges on the inner lenses from doing this because that will show. I gotta slide this over a little bit. And yeah, that's basically it. Alrighty, so for the wiring, pretty straightforward. They did a really good job doing this. Everything is just click, click. And then for the ground, because this is too small to fit on the actual ground, there's a little bolt that I already loosened already, but a little bolt in here. You want to show that, Ty? This bolt right here, this, this comes off, it's 10 mil. You just slide that on, and then just give her a little spin back on. Snug. Now I could actually test it just by tapping the positive lead to the battery itself. So if I take this, we could see if it turn on. Maybe not. Probably missing something, but who cares? Um, so now, what you got to do is come to this side, plug these bad boys on this side in. Click. Click. And now we get to the juicy part of taking something and 
putting a hole in one of these little rubber grommets down here so you can pass it through the firewall and hook everything up on the inside. So what we're gonna do on the inside is take this red wire, plug it into one of the fuse holes that are on with um, ignition and take this and tap it into the footwell light so when you unlock your car it does a really nice fade in effect which I will show you at the end of the video but for right now Ty you can cut okay for so this part you have to remove your glove box so there's a, there's a couple screws there's a screw there screw there screw right behind that there's a screw underneath right here you'll see and I'm pretty sure that's the only screws I think there's two underneath like in here two underneath in there and I'm gonna undo that and then I'll show you what it looks like when I come back okay so you you unhook the the light from the footwell light then you take the included um, wire tap and you take a plier you slide the white wire in I'm gonna put some double put some tape over this because I don't feel safe touching that and then I'm gonna plug this back in after but you take a big needle nose plier you clamp that down until it like clicks and right now they are currently on because I have it fully set up and then I ran that red wire and slid it oh, I'll turn bring the light up here for you guys I slid it just right into the to the number 15 slot for the the rain sensor for the convertibles so that's that and that's basically it I'm gonna put everything back together and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the outside all right so now I got everything hooked up but basically just put everything back together to reverse of removing it I just did some zip ties for the wires make them look nice and now with the unlock button since you hooked it up if you did hook it up to the footwell light it'll do this they'll kind of fade on they are actually retardedly bright and yeah they work they work with the key as well and we're gonna get some outside shots because it is currently like eight o'clock I don't know I haven't looked in a while and Yep, see, now they just fade off and I press the lock button. And it's not going to turn back on because the lights are already turned off. But yeah, we'll get some rolling videos for you guys. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful people later. Yo, watch me like, do this trick. Oh, fell off just turning. No <laughs> trick, Ty. Come on. You told me. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the clips. <laughs> oh my God.